guys heard the story of Alice in Wonderland? You must have. But as different the day is, I'm going to tell you the story of Alice, but in modern land. Alice, an, abno an abnormal teenager. She used to wake up early in the morning, go for walks, complete her chores, go to the school with a bright smile, and was the most cheerful and interactive student, and was the brightest in the room. She was indeed an ab abnormal teenager because she was not exposed to the social media and internet. But as there is a twist in every story, boom, one day her parent handed her a mobile phone and with a blink of her eye, blink of an eye, her, from brightest to dullest, her routine changed, she changed, and her personality changed. A very warm good morning to one and all present here, respected judges, teachers, my old friends, and all the inspiring personalities present here. My name is Nitika Pandari from grade nine, currently studying at Bright Future Secondary School. First of all, I'd like to thank Panorama TV for providing us such a great platform to express our views and sharpen our skills. And as you all know, the topic for grade nine is the is advantages and disadvantages of social media in student life. I'm here to talk about that. Social media, newly made for communication and transfer of information. Who could have thought it to have such a deep impact on the life today? Back then, people thought it was a life-changing app, and without a doubt, it became one. It plays a very significant role in the development of the world today. Can we imagine our life without social media? No, definitely not. Social media is a part of our life. Social media is everywhere. Finance, yes. Politics, yes. Jobs, yes. Business, yes. Education, yes, yes, yes. Education is not even possible without social media at this point of time. A few years back, when COVID was in the town, when everything was shut down, people were worried what to do. There was, uh, there was a huge gap between teachers and students. At that period of time, Zoom and social media entered the room as a life changer. It not only provided a very suitable platform uh, for both teachers and students to teach and learn, it, it had also a lot of advantages. First, it saved the transportation cost. Second, it's, it saved the both time and energy of both teachers and students. And not to forget, like teachers and students from anywhere in the world can cool teach and learn through just a click. From then, the use of social media in education sector had just been rising up, up, and up. At this period of time also, like most of the teachers, um, most of the students uh, prefer online education. Why? Because social media consists unlimited amount of knowledge, education, and the life has been also been a very busy. And, and it provides a very nice platform to teach, to learn, to grow, and to research. Without a doubt, social media has made the education more convenient and easier. But as we all know, everything access is harmful. Everything should be done and consumed in a limit. If we, if we drink water beyond the limit, even water make even water have the capacity to time off. Okay. Time off. Conclude. Okay. You conclude. If you have to talk about disadvantages of social media in surface level, we can say that uh, the children's will, uh, the, the children's mind will be dull, and uh, they will be irritated, mood swings, and uh, uh, and uh, deeper into the ocean, there is cyberbullying, uh, uh, unsecure privacy. Uh, bad influence, bad bad influences, and many more. To be honest, if you ask me, uh, in, if you ask me, the the 
Adva uh, the disadvantages of social media is not as great as the, compared to the uh, advantages of it. 